Hello. Ice here. Rogue Legacy 2. In the last part, I still didn't solve the puzzle of the silhouette covered in blades sitting upon the crenellations of the hidden tower. It has occurred to me, maybe the silhouette covered in blades is Lamech on account of all of his weaponry. Which would double make sense with uh, where I said I wanted to check at the end of the last part, which was the uh, hidden room in the Tower of Lights. I actually just checked that room out on stream uh, on a new file. Um, oh, wait, that was a red door. Uh, wait. What? I've entered the Stygian study sideways? That's... that's possible? It doesn't have the regular entry room or anything. Wait, there's no warp! <laughs> uh... Most unusual. where I wanted to be. Hey, let's go. Tell him it's a mistake. Just tell him. Irad, let me fight. I can defeat the Void Beasts and reopen the gates. We can free Nama and help the surviving villagers. This is my chance to do something right for once. Why can't I tell him he's wrong? Nightmare premonitions. Guess we're still in lore room territory, most likely. Alright, and maybe this room will give me something to purify the trial relic? Did! Excellent! So why do I have so much gold bonus? Uh, because I have a lot of gold bonus. Understood. Oh, two commanders. I guess I'm still hoping for Warden Blueprints. That would be neat. Just sniping everybody with my melee weapon. Uh, Ronin. I mean, it's looking strong right now. Just can't take hits. Oh, we might get empathy for the new scar. Actually, I think we're guaranteed to. It just occurred to me. Nightmare premonitions. Oh, hey, that's the icon of an achievement. Your empathetic connection has improved, Max Handicap. Whatever has been raised probably is what it said. But I closed the dialogue while I was still reading it. Hi. Uh, fancy meeting you here. Yeah, you ever hear of personal space? To which they reply, have you ever heard of not slicing people? And I'll be like, no. Psyched myself out. Just 
started doing the one thing Ronin's bad at, taking hits. I guess actually two things it's bad at. Evading while attacking is the other one. <laughs> Which uh, doesn't go well with the whole uh, being bad at taking hits thing. But it can be made to work. Oops. Ow. When I don't crit, I do like half as much damage. So just crit, smiley face. Uh, where's the last enemy? Oh, there. All right, blueprint time. Uh, no, not blueprint, uh, rune, yeah. What is a rune but a magical blueprint? Okay, it is blueprint time though, most likely. Just that uh, I was a little early. Right. Uh, yeah, I like crit chance, in case you hadn't noticed. Ultra crits are pretty neat. Also, like critting anyway when you mess up your skill crit is pretty neat. Also, just I have a lot of decks <laughs> and crit damage. Things that synergize well with crit chance. right now like 60% okay 58% random crit chance ow rune time Folded rune. I think I did want another of those. starting a new file on another save slot um, just seeing this money gain is absurd it's like oh yeah this is actually a lot gotta be careful not to down jump when I just want to attack downward well slightly in the air for the angle Get me, or was I sitting too close to the fireball spitter? Or the flame spout spitter? All right. Another empathy is mine. I remarked that that scar has the same icon as an achievement, but it also looks like a boss from Rogue Legacy 1. <laughs> I should probably call that out too. Okay, 
free stuff. Do I want to challenge him? Not really. I wanted to go to the dry lake and deal with the void beasts. Now that I'm like thinking about what I actually had goals involving. I guess besides um, getting that scar finally. Yeah, I, I for a while wasn't sure if the figure with blades was Lamech or um, I want to say Johannes, but that's not his name. Jonas? And like, I don't know where Jonas has been. Or maybe he does just sit behind that door all the time. Because we know now that the poison that I'd suspected maybe he took was just an accidental self-poisoning on uh, Enix attempt, er, Enix not attempt, um, Enix doing. Whoa! Homing projectiles, sometimes home. I know, right? Alright, I've already done the keys, right? Uh, I'll pass on that one. Twenty percent strength bonus is great for my vampirism runes. Ow. Strength truly is the best stat against regular enemies. Well, maybe some combination of like strength, dex, and like crit stuff, but but leaning towards strength. I don't think you want all of them in equal amounts. And wish I got applause when the room was cleared of enemies so I wouldn't have to still suspect there are enemies in the room. If only there was a trait that would do that. I'm sure that trait would be really good. And nothing bad would ever happen as a result of not seeing stuff. Yeah, the other time with Lamech, I was just thinking I would be able to see his cues, so I wouldn't need to necessarily see everything in between me and him. But it turns out, that room's wide enough that sometimes the boss is off screen. Three normal hits in a row. At this point, that's weirder than three crits in a row. Got over 50% crit chance right now. I guess I could, like, be using the map in order to, like, find the tuning fork rooms, but also, like, gathering treasure is neat. So I'm not in a hurry to actually find the mid-boss rooms. Whoa! Careful with that explosion. One blueprint this run so far. Feels like less than I expected. Press 
especially considering I came to the dry lake. Oh, well, here's the actual boss room. A thousand greetings to you. Yeah, too many cycles. Speaking Tubal, not Estuary Immortal. You'll reveal Tubal's locations if I free you from shackles. One chain of body and one of spirit. You'll honor the dragon's vow. All right. Yes. Okay, they're like all down there. I kind of passed them as a result of not looking at the map. Oh. Didn't even drop any money. Treasure. Treasure is neat. Nice crit. Eh, good enough on health. Hmm. Ah! One stray fireball. is easier to get a lot of damage on because uh, even while it's attacking you can just bop it away at least if it's attacking with like its main attack oh. the secondary attack I don't know why I focus on the axe I guess because it's so persistent that I prefer to have it dead also, I guess the thing about the shield is it kind of bounces away from you and then you don't hit it for a bit. Well, during the axe's pursuit, you can just keep attacking. Especially if you have a weapon that lets you move while attacking. Which, like, if you stay in the air, you don't suffer the delay until you land. And I think if you jump enough or, like, are high enough in the air, yeah, you can actually fully avoid the movement lock. Maybe I didn't respect Ronin enough as a result of not realizing. Yeah, if you're just in the air a little though, like I'm holding left as soon as I attack and you suffer all that delay. somewhere? No, there's commanders wait a moment before they spawn. Alright. Another successful empathy improvement for our newest Scar that we haven't even had the opportunity to play let yet since I got it in this run.
We're gonna reach like nine empathy before I even play it. Whoa. But I stopped just short of that sword. It was a bit of a panic moment. Didn't move. All right, we're still approximately fine. This room doesn't have any traps in it. Makes me feel like I have a lot more control of the area. How many is this? Like four? Five? <laughs> Guess I'll find out soon enough. Both of these rooms just giving me a mana potion for healing. Oh yeah, the fireballs that come out of that. So the circle AoE is smaller when you're doing it at range, but both of your attacks are basically a circle that spreads... Oh wait, no, you have that attack too. I'm really spreading my damage out, huh? But I feel like I'm often forced to retreat from one, because it's gonna like rush at me or something. <laughs> yeah, I definitely uh, spread the damage out there. <laughs> Perhaps a little suboptimal. And one thing is, if we are gonna fight a Rogue Legacy 1 boss, I've played barely any of that game. <laughs> I'm gonna be so bad at it. I think the eyeball like chases you around the room and shoots fireballs or something. Maybe far too many. Maybe leaves a trail of fireballs in addition to shooting them. I guess that also might like not actually be what the challenge is. Did say if. I think when Lorgon unlocks it, he'll definitely have me outclassed, though. In terms of, like, skill. Ow. Is scissors. Missing one of the the fates relics. We don't have Lachesis's measure. Not that I have the resolve for it. It is nice getting the crit related relics on our crit build. Uh, 
Oh, right, I deal extra crit damage. I was like, why did the numbers go up? You know, <laughs> I took the thing that makes the numbers go up. Ow! Uh, that was a lot of damage. Okay, so maybe you don't get hit by that enemy type or any others. I spent just a moment thinking I was powerful, and then it's like, oh, by the way, I can deal almost half your health. I was like, oh yeah, the fact that things can deal almost half my health. Yes, to be fair, it's mutual. Actually, I can deal more than half their health. That's why they're dying in two or three attacks. Well, two when I get my crits. Sometimes two when I only get one crit. It's hard to get the crits on them since they often prevent me from actually waiting at angles that let me get straight slices on them. Via their, uh, attacks. Hmm. Maybe I should just, like, challenge Lamech now. As long as I don't get hit, we're pretty strong. Yeah. Optimism. I don't know if I had room to stand there. Playing with the control pad, I couldn't actually aim that correctly. hit taken. This is probably going to result in taking a hit or two. Yep. I think I was still invincible there. Ah! Right, the fact that phase two is harder than phase one. I don't know if this attack actually gets any harder. I expected the second round to be on the ground more. Oh. I even hit the Kotetsu button as I was dying. But yeah, just not having a talent that blocks cleanly. 4% strength, though. Alright, well, let's check out that empathy. Bard, a dragon lancer, assassin. Gonna reroll. Duelist might be nice in the Scar Challenge, but they're not... They've got a cannon. I don't like the cannon that much. Just the Vanilla Assassin? Sure. Alright, what am I buying? I didn't get any notable blueprints. I got a... a folded Rune which I apparently could just equip. Um, would need 40 more rune weight for that. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so we've got the armor fully stacked for basically pre soul shop overload. I guess I didn't, you know, max these out. But in terms of runes, we're fully stacked. Um, maybe with the extra block cap more of that is nice, but I will kind of want crit damage. Maybe some strength. Uh, could get a little int. Yeah, I'll grab some int. Alright, let's check out... Nightmare Premonition. I got six. Defeat Lamex Nightmare. Let's just turn on five to begin with. I think this might be better than the other, but it's actually hard to know. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have my actual stats. Um, Lotus Stem does nothing. Uh, I'm getting crit stuff. I'll take the stinger over the war drum, but I'm not sure which is actually correct here. But yeah, also like, they don't have the exact statues from Rogue Legacy 1, but this room shape, I guess the statues would actually be like here and here. And there should be like a teleporter. Uh, that's a lot of spikes. Nightmare Kid Irad, the Gatekeeper. This doesn't feel like the sort of fight I was expecting. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, I didn't have another double jump, of course. Remembered my talent. Oops. <laughs> you uh, have to actually wait to attack. Ah. I don't actually have that much health, huh? Alright. Unless there's another phase. Looks like five empathies was correct. It's doing the victory thing. The timer's stopped. All right, achievement unlocked. A glimpse of the future. So is that the like, New Game Plus refight version of that battle? I don't think there's a fight that's like that in the first game, like at all, that I can remember. Um, anyway, cool. I'd been wondering about that achievement for a while. Because, uh, I know, uh, you can see the, uh, the icons and everything in, if you look at the global achievement stats, even if it's a secret achievement. But you can't see the description, so you can't actually see everything. Um, let's see, 500 souls per trophy? Oh yeah, I could also try this one. I think I will not be doing another run this video, though. Damage on the ground. I don't think that's going to be as useful as it could be. Rage Tincture, I guess. I'm fairly unexcited about this one. Boxing Bell. Hmm. I wonder... Do the first two slices add to the counter? And then you'd get the bonus damage every second attack, basically? Or is it... Does it work on the same logic as cooling down a talent where I think the first two do nothing and then the last one does two? In which case it would take us three attacks. It takes two. Uh, move over there. Oh, 
I either didn't have a double jump or used it late. I guess I don't want you on your face too well, Phoenix is still alive. probably get some of the food scattered around the room. As long as you don't miss your weak slices or your strong slice, the uh, the ember or whatever it's called seems really good when you have the assassin weapon. Also, we're like two wins away on this one if they're all gonna be 20k or larger. That's nice. Um, could be like knight and chef or ranger. Or Dragon Lancer. Probably not going to be Bard, Gunslinger, Astromancer. <laughs> it's not with that score. Alright. Well, we accomplished some nice goals. I think all the Void Beasts for the playthrough are dead. None of the bosses are, but that's fine. We can work on that. And the Scar's solved. And we won't get more until two bowls down. Although, I'd kind of been thinking that this, uh, last scar... ...was gonna be the one for this achievement. And that it would have, like, some, like, secret unlock condition. I mean, it still has a secret unlock condition, but it's not this one. Which I just find a little weird. Anyway. That's it for this part. See ya!